Hey YouTube, what's popping? Grand Risings, Great Risings, Happy Thursday. Um, before we get into the video, I always be forgetting to say this, but before we get into the video, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to get a notification when I post all of that. Um, I was gonna like try and switch up the videos for you guys this week, but I was trying to like come to a comprehension of what I wanted to do, and I figured one out. And I'm really excited to share it with you guys, but it's Thursday, so I feel like it's like just kind of like rude and abrupt to like switch it up during the week, so uh, I'm not going to start it yet. But I have so much to share with you guys, like I for real have so much to share with you guys, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build my stamina, I'm going to build my momentum, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share with y'all on Monday. I'm going to share with y'all on Motivation Monday, uh, I know I got to make y'all wait. But we're going to get straight into the video, we're going to get straight into the video, it's November 18th guys. Why is time flying by so fast? Like, literally, it's like in a month, it's Christmas. Like, <laughs> okay. I live in a friendly universe. What do you think about the friendly universe idea? Robert Ho Ho Holland asked Luis. She paused for a moment as she let the question sink in. I think it's a good idea, she says with a smile. Is the universe friendly, he asked. There is only one way to find out, she says. What's, what way is that? Say yes, she she says with a smile. What do you mean? If you answer no, you'll never find out the universe is friendly, she says. Because if you say no, you won't see it. Exactly. But if you say yes, then you might. It's all in the answer. The answer is in us. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because it's really... The answer's in us. It's really just how you choose to view the, view the world, like real life. If you choose to look at all the negative, all you're going to see is negative. If you choose to look at all the positive, all you're going to see is positive. Okay, we left off with, what do we leave off with? Understanding. Ooh. I am more under, I, the more I understand, the more my world expands. I am consist, I am constantly, guys, I'm, I'm so hyped for this morning. I'm sorry. I am consistently increasing my understanding. I am teachable. Every day I learn to open my awareness a little more to the to the divine wisdom within me. I am glad to be alive and so grateful for the good that has come to my life. Life to me is an education. Every day I open my mind and my heart as a child does and I discover new insights, new people, new viewpoints, and new ways to understand what's happening around me and within me. My human mind may not always understand at first. Understanding seems to require a lot of love and patience. My new mental skills are really helping me feel more at ease with all the changes in this incredible school of life here on planet Earth. And I feel like understanding just as like a whole, like you gotta understand a lot of different concepts to really like understand, to like fixate and understand life and just like how you can like really like use it to your advantage like we're not supposed to be on here like struggling like we are not supposed to be going through this struggle so it's just like really just like understanding like why you're put in certain positions and i know i talked about that yesterday but um i like this phrase it says it says life to me is an education every day i open my mind my heart in my heart as a child does and i discover new insights new people new viewpoint new ways to understand what's happening around me and within me um, and like, that's super true. When you open up your mind, when you like, when you leave the house and you decide, okay, today I'm going to have an open mind and an open heart. So when certain stuff happens, instead of being like, Oh, why did they sit by me? Or why are they trying to talk to me? You know, like open your mind to the conversation and then open up your heart to just like, you know, being kind to anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like saying hi to people on the street or, you know what I'm saying? Holding the door open for somebody or, you know what I'm saying? It could be as simple as just interacting with people. And I feel like a lot of people don't really do that nowadays, especially when it comes to like our generation, the, the younger generation, like we're very just like, I think it's an ego thing. Like we think like it's like weird, like to talk to people, like it's weird to be friendly, but like really like open up your mind and open up your heart to the concept of doing that and start doing that. And you'll just realize like how much like you like good positive energy and positive feedback you attract and you just get you know new insights new viewpoints like it says like you know what i'm saying you just discover you know new people and just you know a lot of things about yourself and about other people around you like yesterday um i was at the bookstore all day that's why i was like i have so much to share with you guys like i'm about to go to the bookstore all day again today because there's a few books that i wanted to finish but um and i bought some books too guys 
I'm so excited. But anyways, so I went to the bookstore and um, then like for some reason they didn't have no like wall plugins and my phone was about dead. Like it was about dead. And if you guys know me, like out here, I don't have a car because my car got totaled. So um, I was like, I had to get a lift and um, my, um, my phone was at like 1%. So I like walked to B Dubs across the road, you know, so I could charge my phone or whatever. I was like, I'll, I'll just take myself on a date. It's okay. And my server, you know, she was super nice. Like she was super cool. And like, you know, I was just reading and just writing down my thoughts. Like y'all know me, I'd just be reading and writing, you know. And um, I was just like, I was just, I felt like so curious to ask like what her goals were like for some reason. And like we got to the talking and stuff. And, you know, like, I was really able to see, like, life from just, like, a different viewpoint. And, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, everyone has different viewpoints. And, you know, I see the viewpoints of the people that I keep in my life, the energies that I surround myself with. But it was really cool to see another viewpoint from, like, somebody just totally random. And she was super cool for just being able to, like, open up to me. Um, you know what I'm saying? And just share her goals and just, like, kind of a little bit of, like, her, like, not life story. But, like, you know, like, her, like, y'all seen that? um but like you know a little bit into her life um and it was really cool like I got to get her number and stuff and just like be able to you know interact with her and like I don't know like I just feel like that's really like that's really um like it's a good I feel like communication and being able to communicate with people and have conversations with people and listen to people is like a super amazing way to influence people and that's something that I wrote down yesterday that I wanted to talk to is like there's a lot of stuff, so I'm just not even going to get into it. I'll get into it with y'all next week. Y'all just y'all just better really stay tuned because we about to go up, up, uppity. And, like, y'all don't want to miss out. Like, y'all don't want to miss out on this information. Y'all don't want to miss out on these mindsets. Like, I'm not going to get into it, but we going to get into the. We already got clarity. I'm not going through that again. I'm getting so rough with this book. <laughs> Family. Why gave me this? Okay, I picked the perfect set of parents for this lifetime. <laughs> and I did. And I did. Even though, I'm not even going to get into it. All living beings are part of my family. I, enve I envelop, envelop, envelop. I don't know, yo. I envelop. And envelope. I envelope my entire family in the circle of love. Those who are living and those who are dead, I affirm wonderful, harmonious experiences that are meaningful for all of us. I feel so blessed to be a part of the lifetime web of unconditional love that brings us all together. Ancestors who have lived before me did the best they could with the knowledge and understanding that they had. And children not yet born will face new challenges and will do the best that they can with the knowledge and understanding that they will have. Each day I see my tasks more clearly, which is to simply let go of old family limitations and awaken to divine harmony. For me, family get-togethers are opportunities to practice tolerance and compassion. No freaking lie um you know is i just I've, i had that face when i you know first started i was like family like of course i would get that because um you know like for me when it comes to like direct family um you know my parents and everything i think we struggle to have an understanding of each other um and you know i love them to death i do i really love my parents to death even though they're annoying as hell <laughs> and they don't <laughs> and they're just I'm just gonna say annoying as hell because they might watch these and I'm not trying to tussle with you guys so uh, <laughs> but like you know like we we definitely bump heads like a lot like I can say we didn't get along for you know periods of my life um but now I think it's more so just really trying to understand them and um it's hard I think it's really hard but um one thing I noticed and like this again was yesterday like I did read a lot of really good books like really guys I love reading books it just it opens my mind up and I just it gets my mind like so stimulated it's crazy like I have just notes and pages and pages and pages of notes um but you know like I messaged my parents and I was like hey like I need you guys to answer these three simple questions because when I am you know trying to attract things into my life and manifesting my life you know one of the things that i'm manifesting is i can't wait to put y'all in the house 
in the car that you guys, you know, want to be in, but I don't even know your ambitions. I don't know your goals. Like, I don't know my parents. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, like, their responses were shit. Shitty. Shitty. <laughs> they were shitty. <laughs> but, like, I think it's, you know, really, like, it's really helping me tolerate and understand that, you know, like, not it's not easy for everyone to just switch their mindset. It's really not. And, um, you know, I think it helps me a lot with patience and tolerance. And, like, I see it as, you know, if I can tolerate listening to other people, listening to random people, and, you know, still want to, you know, change their mindset and still help them change their mindset, then it's, um, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's shitty for me on my end to, you know, not be understanding and not be patient and tolerant with, you know, my actual family. But I like when this says, you know, just being open-minded that everyone, everyone, you know, on this earth, like we're all family, like regardless who you are, regardless, you know, where you came from, regardless you know what you believe in you know and like I know it's really hard for some people to get to that concept because with society nowadays we've just really we've really gotten separated like really just not you know like not on the same beliefs like you know and a lot of people I shouldn't say a lot of people but you know there are groups of people that are just you know very hateful and very um you know just like don't attract good energy and are closed minded. Um, but I think, I think it's still, you know, like it's still our own decision and choice to tolerate those people and accept those people. And I'm not saying tolerate, you know, like complete disrespect. Cause if y'all know me, <laughs> if y'all know me, I don't tolerate none of that. Like I don't, I'm going to kill this vlog, but I don't tolerate none of that. Like, if you disrespect, like, you know, old me wants to go off. But, um, you know, like, really, I think, like, so much just said when we're younger. Like, you know, spread kindness. Be kind. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Um, you know what I'm saying? Don't react. You know, people want a reaction out of you. And, like, that, those are, like, so true. But they stop telling us those things when we get to a certain age because they don't want us to actually use that. Because that will, that, that's to our advantage you know what i'm saying like that's really to our advantage um but like you know really just like responding out of kindness you know not reacting because that's what you know that's what really like jiggles people you know what i'm saying emotions even more when you know they're trying to disrespect you and just be hateful and give you bad vibes and you don't pick up none of them bad vibes and you're like okay cool okay anything else keep elaborating anything more okay okay cool cool you know what I'm saying and they're keep going they keep going like um you know because at the end of the day like you know we can only tolerate stuff as much as um you know like our as much as possible but like we just have I'm, I don't know what I'm trying to say but you know I just my mind <laughs> I'm about to cut this video for real you guys <laughs> because I'm about to just come back to this tomorrow because um I'm real life hyper. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling myself today. So I just keep looking in the camera, I'm like, that bitch. You look that you look like that bitch right now. And I'm just getting really distracted and my I'm just hyper, so we gonna cut the video. <laughs> we gonna cut the fucking video. And we gonna come back into family tomorrow. We're gonna get back into family tomorrow. But um one thing I want you guys to take going into the rest of your day is like, you know, really like spread love, spread kindness, be open minded, be open hearted. Um you know, like the, the day that you have is based on, you know, the day that you choose to have going forward. Um, whether you when you're watching this, you know, you already kind of had an irritating day or frustrating day, a confusing day and you're, you know, whatever. It's really up to your, your decision, your choice to, um, you know, change it. And even if it's at night and you just see this at night, it's up to your it's up to you to, you know, go to bed with a positive thought. You know, it's it really takes one positive thought to change your entire day. So. Make sure y'all remember that. We're going to get back into the motherfucking video tomorrow. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>